In this video, we are going to learn about React state, React components, and uh, some of the lifecycle methods of React. So let's first create a class component and uh, name it as class app, and it must extend React dot component. So import first React from React and uh, class app extends react dot component and react dot component must have render method and render method will return render method will return jsx so let's write division and some text in it react app and save then go to browser and reload so here is our text render here so a class can have a constructor and if you are defining a constructor you must pass props and the first line should be super props so how we can declare variable in it this dot counter is equal to 10 and uh, if we want to render or display it on the screen we have to put it in curly braces this dot counter and press save and uh, here is the value of counter is rendered on the browser after constructor another method component did mount is called and uh, we can console here to see when it is mounted let's say component did mount and in constructor let's say console dot log constructor and uh, go to the browser and uh, open console so clear console and uh, save our code so first constructor is called and then component did mount is called let's close this console and uh, let's say we want to change the value of counter in component did mount this dot counter is equal to 15 and let's save the value of counter is not affected because render method is called once so to render so if you want to update the value of counter we have to put it in state so let's say this dot state is equal to and uh, it must be an object counter let's say 10 and uh, to print to display this on the browser we have to say we have to type this dot say dot counter and uh, value 10 is displayed in our web page so component did mount method if we assign some value like this dot state dot counter is equal to 15 and uh, save then value is not displayed yet so we have to call a method this dot set state counter and we assign a value 15 to it and save then the value 15 is displayed on the screen let's say we want to implement a counter so we can use set interval method of the javascript so let's clear this and uh, we want to render a button button and uh, say increment just put br tag here so we have a button increment and uh, we have to create a method let's say increment 
counter is equal to and we are creating an arrow function here and this will be incrementing the counter every time this dot set state and we set the counter value to this dot set this dot state dot counter plus one so what this function does is it increments the counter by one so on the click of button on click is equal to we call this function increment counter this dot increment counter and save then we can click on increment and uh, here the value of counter is incremented every time we every time we press the button so let's say we want to make a counter and uh, in the component did mount method we want to call set interval so we use set interval method and we pass increment counter as the first argument and the interval as millisecond as the second argument so set interval thousand milliseconds and every thousand milliseconds this dot increment counter is called let's save so every one second this counter is incremented by one there is one more lifecycle method known as component will unmount component will unmount that is called when a component is getting unmounted or destroyed so we can assign the id returned by set interval to a variable and we must clear interval this dot underscore interval on component will unmount so that we don't want to we don't want to run this interval after the component is unmounted let's see what are props in react so clear this state also and uh, we want to create another component class and say this as header and it must extend react dot component and instead of react dot component we can destructure react we can destructure react component from react so we can use just component instead of react dot component this is same and in header we render and return some text in division let's say demo application and we want to use header component in app component so here we say in division we write header and press save so we can see the app component is rendering header component in it and uh, what are props the props we can pass something like its property title equal to let's say demo application and instead of this we can use this dot props dot title and this dot props dot title is received from this header proper properties so title we receive here and press save we can see demo application which is passed as the title is received in the props and uh, we're displaying with the help of this dot props dot title and now we can just destructure props here like in the elegant way like const 
title is equal to this dot props and we can just use title here so this looks more elegant and press save okay now this is running fine we can just use another component class footer extends component and in render method we just return division footer and uh, use footer here footer press save and we can and we can see that footer is rendered be, uh, below the header component just like the class based component there is function based component which we can use so let's see how we can use function based component so let's see how we can define function based component we want to convert footer into function based component like cost footer is equal to we are defining an arrow function and from arrow function we are returning jsx division let's say this is footer and uh, press save and this is footer is displayed on the browser so it's up to you to use either class based component or function based component similarly we can use uh, similarly we can use state in function based component with the help of hooks we have to use hooks instead of this dot state so for state we are using use state and uh, in this let's say cost um, counter comma set counter is equal to use state use state is a hook for function based component and we set its initial value to 10 and we just display its value like counter and uh, press save and 10 is displayed which is the value of the counter and uh, just like the component did uh, component did mount we can use another hook use effect use effect it is just similar to the component did mount method and we want to run it just one time so use here square brackets and we can call this method set counter let's say 18 and uh, hit save okay then 18 it displayed in the web page we will study more about React hooks in upcoming videos.